Hi, I'm your host, Denise Rojas, and you're going to watch me take a shower. On top of our carport, it's a very simple system, heating 20 gallons of water in one hour, completely from the power of the sun. Dan, he thought he could do this all by himself. He needed my help. We're gonna show you how to do it. With my master shot of the carport complete and a nice slow zoom shot showing the scale of the project, I was planning on climbing up the ladder and telling you all about jewels and how dark objects absorb sunlight. Needless to say, things did not go exactly as planned. I'm here in sunny Tampa, Florida, and right now it's not that sunny out. It'll give us a good chance to work up on this shiny silver roof without getting beat up by the sun. The size of this carport matters because it is roughly 15 square meters. It's 15,000 meters. Each square meter... The size of this carport matters because it is roughly 15 square meters. Each square meter of sunlight produces an estimated 1,000 joules or the equivalent of 1,000 watts. Since this carport is roughly 15,000 square meters, that many meters? This is going to be fine. We're going to be taking the sunlight energy, taking the heat that it produces, and transferring it right into water. We're going to be doing this by stringing long black hose throughout the entire length of this carport. We're going to be running it around the outside so we don't put the weight right in the center. The hose that we're going to be using... This shot never stood a chance. So I tried a different approach. The hose that we're going to be using is this black plastic irrigation hose. It's one inch in diameter and can hold approximately four gallons of water. It holds approximately four gallons of water. We're going to be taking two of these and linking them together to have two... We're going to be linking two of these together along with this 100 foot piece that we got from a yard sale. All together we're going to have 300 foot of this black hose. We're going to stretch this along the roof and throughout the day it's going to capture the sunlight and transfer the heat to the water. This hose... 100 feet... Bank, there's heat a little bit more... out of your house. I'm going to... This water that runs through here. Traffic all of a sudden, no traffic. Hold out, and it'll also keep you. Since the solar video gods were not cooperating with me today, I decided to move along to the next step. I placed the first of three sections on the roof with the plan of neatly unrolling them and connecting each section together while still on the rooftop. But this one inch thick poly tube had other ideas. So it was time to tackle this project on safer ground. My new plan? I intended to arrange the tubing in a spiral neatly so it does not overlap, then tape the loops together. Thirty minutes later, well, defeat number four. A friend of mine who works with this stuff daily suggested I pull the tubing through a sturdy object to stretch out the curves. Since I was determined to make this video a one-man show, I thought this tree would be a great assistant. While it did help, I was still left with some very unreasonable tubing. So of course, it was time to move on to the next step. We're going to be able to use this as our connection piece. I've sanded the ends down because it fits pretty much perfectly in here. We're going to take some olive oil, or you could use any oil that you want, and we're going to line this with that. That was going to give us some lubricant. We're going to slide that in there, and we're going to take a piece of wood and hammer it down. You don't want to use metal because you'll damage the ends. You get that in there nice and tight. You want to put this one in as far as you can because this one's going to be fun to do. 
I figured now would be a good time to tell you that black polytube comes in 400 foot sections that are one half inch in diameter. While it doesn't hold as much water volume, it is a lot easier to work with and you don't need to splice all the sections together. 5 8 or 3 quarter inch black water hose also works excellent. And it prevents the joyful challenges I was about to face. After another 45 minutes of frustrating work, I was successful in getting the hose on the roof. But it was not quite as neat as I envisioned. When we come back, Denise offers some insightful wisdom. Hey Dan, I got the plan. That actually gets the job done. And see the solar hot water heater in action. Next in part two.